Hello, and thank you all for joining me today. I'm so glad y'all could be here to see me do this persuasive, you know, persuasive argument. Um, I'm here mainly to talk about how you should choose freedom of speech over no freedom of speech. And so I'm going to start off by telling you about what freedom of speech is mainly. Although it's a constitutional right, freedom of speech has been, you know, it, it's, a, it's a first amendment right. It's given to us, it's a, basically it's a way you can basically say everything you want to anyone you want, as long as it's not in a violent or threatening way. Now, although it's a constitutional right, free speech has brought disagreement and agreement to many different generations. And not only that, it is still talked about by a bunch of different people in our country today. Boomers, that's older people, millennials, some of y'all might have millennial parents, some of y'all might be millennials, um, and Gen Z, you know, people like me. Um, so the rights that an individual has as a citizen in the States, you know, in the United States to have free speech, and it is one of the most precious rights that every citizen has. This right gives individuals the opportunity to speak what's in his or her mind. They get to say what they want. If I want to go up to a person right now on the street, as long as I'm not threatening them, and I say something like, hey, um, hey, ugly, I like your shoes. Where'd you get them from? Dollar store. You know, that's considered freedom of speech. I mean, it's not considered violent, but it's still considered freedom of speech. Now... You know, the right gives individuals the opportunity to speak. You know, his mind, you know. Um, this rights have been questioned by many throughout history. They believe that this freedom of speech has brought arguments, of, you know, among other people and most people. Um, a big controversy nowadays is that freedom of speech is being used wrongly, that it's being used in a discriminatory way, by, by which I mean that a lot of people nowadays are saying freedom of speech is bad because... I mean, uh, you know, many people in my, among my generation nowadays, Gen Z, and I know there's a few millennials out there that say the same thing, um, have been saying stuff, you know, that freedom of speech shouldn't be hardly as free as it should be because um, they were basically saying that a lot of people are using it as a hate speech, discriminatory, and using it as an opportunity to say um, slurs, hate speech, discriminatory, you know, phrases against pe certain kinds of people. Um, and honestly, that's honestly bad. I hate that, that that's going on right now in America. Um, me personally, I still think you should choose freedom of speech because, you know, everyone needs to be able to speak his or her own opinion. You know, and honestly, there's going to be those people that have you know, that use freedom of speech right, and those people that don't use freedom of speech right. Now, you know, even though these, these rights have been questioned, one of the most popular in modern times is protesting. A lot of people are protesting nowadays to show freedom of speech, um, which is great. You know, if people want to protest, let them go ahead. As long as they're not doing it in a violent or, not, you know, discriminatory way, it's cool. You know, I, I sometimes protest, you know, whether it be, you know, with my family members or I'd be outside, you know, Protest at work, you know, for a raise. Um, now, people wanted their voice to be heard by using violence, by protesting and stop others from saying what they believe is right. Um, now, I do hate that, that people want to try to silence people and, you know, use violent slurs as an example to silence people, which is, I think is kind of stupid because not all people, including, you know, including myself, we don't use the... We don't use freedom of speech in a violent way. What I mean by that is, we don't go out and pick a random person on the street, walk up to them and start trying to argue and fight with them, you know, and be violent towards them. We don't do that. You know, for me, freedom of speech could be disagreeing with my parents, saying, listen, mom, I don't want to be, you know, going to school, you know, college because, well, it's really a waste of my time. You know, I could make money in a welding factory, which, you know, that's my opinion. She also has an opinion herself, you know, finish your degree, you know, go to college, make money, you know, make a lot more money than what you make in a factory, you know, for 30 years, plus it's not as physical labor. But, you know, 
the questions evolved, you know, should there be limits? Um, me personally, I think freedom of speech is great. Um, should there be limits? You know, honestly, there is limits. Um, that'd be pretty cool if there were limits, honestly, because it'd be cool to see, you know, people being limited by, you know, using hate, you know, by, you know, not being able to use hate speech. Um, honestly, we do have a lot of people that do use hate speech, which sucks because, you know, they're, they're using it. They're being a very bad example for, you know, freedom of speech people like me. Now, when did it get right to use violence or when did it get, you know, right to use aggressive action or using a weapon, you know, violate someone's first amendment rights and use that, you know, and basically say, you know, oh, I'm sorry, they were, you know, mouthing off to me. I just decided I was going to pull out my um, pocket switchblade and be like, okay, well, guess what? Since you, you know, said that to me, I get to get to use freedom of speech by pointing my switchblade. No, that's, that's a violent action. Um, and freedom of speech is not that. Freedom of speech is where you can just say something to someone. You know, sometimes it hurts what people say to you. Not gonna lie. Um, however, free, freedom of speech for, you know, a country like America, you know, that's us, United States, USA, you know, red, white, and blue. It is one of the most precious rights that every citizen have as an individual. No one should be stopped from expressing his or her own opinions of what they think. Secondly, most people believe it is okay to violate others' free, you know, free speech, but it's not okay when you violate their right as a citizen. What I mean by that, it's not okay to violate someone's right for being human and basically get on over and be like, you know, well, I, well you shouldn't be here, you know. Um, in closing, I feel like freedom of speech is a great right given to us as long as we don't abuse it. Uh, and we also use it in the right way. Now, what I mean by that is, is that as long as we're being cool with people, let me give you an example. Hey, um, it's nice to meet you, John, sir. Um, thank you for coming here today. You know, that's, that's a great way to use freedom of speech. Now, if I was to take a switchblade out, go up to someone and say, hey, guess what? I get to use freedom of speech, ha ha. Um, give me your money. That's not freedom of speech. That's a violent action. But you know, overall, Freedom of speech, you should choose it, because guess what? Without freedom of speech, you don't get your own opinion. Look at North Korea. They don't have opinions over there, and their country is literally so strict that if you were to go over there and say, um, forget about your leaders, they would just basically, they would basically put you in prison or do worse to you, which sucks. But um, anyway, choose, choose freedom of speech, because, you know, everyone deserves to save their own opinion as long as they're not hurting or being rude to people. Anyway, thank you for joining me today.